Hey everyone, today's video is about when he wants you to sit on his lap. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki. Bakugo, even though he doesn't show it much, or he does not admit it at all, he gets flustered very easily. He's shy, and we all know that. But still, when he wants to do something, he will do it, no matter what. So for now, he felt like he wanted to make out with you. It may be because of the few cups of alcohol that he had drank. But maybe it's because just he's in the mood. Sometimes he actually gets in the mood without having anything to drink. And so it may be just that. But still, right now he didn't even blush when he told you to sit on his lap. Though you did, since he really didn't drink anything. And even if he did, sometimes Bakugo has this effect on you, actually all the time, that he makes you blush when you are drunk. He makes you so flustered, even though you don't get like that. When someone else compliments you or does anything to you. But it's just, maybe, it's Bakugo himself. And only him. Moyan, sit on my lap. Huh? Why? You were blushing so hard, and your face was as red as Kirishima's hair, if not brighter. I said, sit on my lap. O okay. You sat on his lap and faced him. Now what? He circled his arms around your waist and pushed you towards him. Now, can I kiss you? What? I said, can I kiss you? He usually never asks, but okay, I guess. Um, I mean, all right. You can. And then he came close to you. He was moving so slowly as if he wanted to tease you. And yes, he did actually want to tease you about this. Because he knew you always get so mad when he does. So then, he knew he pulled your strings when you put your hands around his head and pushed him towards you. And finally, your lips touched. And he wasn't even planning on leaving you any soon. Nope. All he wanted was to make out with you for a long time, and he was going to do that. Just that. Oh, he really enjoyed making out with you. Taruki Shoto. Taruki always wanted to be close to you. It made him feel very comfortable and safe too. It was just how he felt. And honestly, he really loved being close to you. Not only does he feel comfortable and safe, but he feels warm. He feels loved. He feels as if someone is always there to take care of him and will finally be there with him forever and not leave him. Just like his family. Um, do not go too deep anyway. You... Well, Tadriki actually didn't see anything wrong was telling you to sit on his lap. But the only problem was that he did it in public. You and your friends were in the common room watching some movie that Dinky had recommended. And Tatraki so that you didn't have any place to sit on. And so he just... Hey, you can just sit on my lap. Oh, it wouldn't have been that embarrassing if... Everyone was not sitting right there. Oh, did he just... Mina whispered to Ochako. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, God. This must be embarrassing. I know, right? Uh, guys. How about we just continue watching this movie? Mina said to not make it awkward for you both. Oh, she was just a great friend. Can I? You asked Tadaki quietly, and he nodded. So you sat on his lap, and he circled his arms around you, pulling you close to him. 
He loved being close to you so much. And this is how he showed you that he did. So, I actually didn't know that you were dating. Wait, he didn't? I thought you guys knew that. But he didn't tell us before. But wasn't it obvious? Mina said. Oh, it was? I guess I didn't really focus. Ochako said. Oh, guys. How couldn't you focus? I mean, when we were sitting in class, I could see Wyan always looking at Tadaruki. And same for Tadaruki, too. They keep looking at each other and I find it so cute. But, Momo, I thought you focus in class. Oh, I do. But them keeping looking at each other like that kind of distracts me. Don't worry, guys. I find it cute. So you can keep doing that. Oh. I, uh, we made it that obvious, huh? Yeah, we did. We really shouldn't have. It doesn't matter, anyway. I'm happy for you two. Don't worry. At least they were supportive. Right, um, so, what should I do? What do you mean? We can just sit here. But they're being awkward. No, I don't care. I want to be next to you. Are you scared of horror movies, Shoto? Um, well, he wasn't scared of them. But telling you that he wanted to be close to you sounded way worse. So he just... Yeah, I am. Oh, how cute. Okay, then. I'll continue sitting on your lap. But if anyone asks why, I will tell them that, alright? Uh, it didn't really matter to him. Not if he will be this close to you. Alright, you can do that. And of course, they did ask. It was kind of funny. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. I know this video wasn't really good or wasn't as you guys expected, but I, I cannot breathe. Like, believe me when I say I cannot breathe. My chest feels like it's closing in on me, and like I can't really take in a breath even. So it's like... It's quite hard. I don't know what to do. I feel like my back is breaking. In half, too. Which wouldn't have sounded that bad if I wasn't sitting and like, uh, and like, you know, bending my neck and back to be able to speak into the mic loudly. Hurts even more. Hurts even worse. Yeah, but anyway. I guess we should end it here, right? So, yeah. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, guys.